Why did we open She Sells Yarn and More? It's been a number of years since our area had a local yarn shop and we miss that. We miss that sense of community we had. We miss the opportunity to go in and actually touch the yarn and the fiber and, and I miss the people. The thing I love most about coming to the shop is that you walk in and everything feels comfortable. It's easy to walk around, stop, look, take your time. There's chairs and tables so you can gather different colors and sit down, compare. And then there's always somebody else here to talk to. Oh, the community of the shop, um, it's a friendly community. They're very giving, they're very generous. They'll knit for cancer patients, hats. They'll knit for babies. We now have added a new charity, which is knitting hats for the military to wear inside of their helmets. So getting to sit here with my mom, um, it reminds me that it's not just about selling fiber, yarn, classes. It's about building community within our family and an extended family with our customers and the people that come in to share with us their passion and with whom we get to share our passion as well. So the products we carry in the shop are definitely different from something you're going to find at one of the big box stores. We are a boutique yarn shop. Uh, we carry a lot of independent dyers in the shop. The yarns we get are from companies in Europe and Italy, England, using British wool, llamas and alpacas. Um, even with wool that comes from sheep, we're getting wool that comes from merino sheep, which is a finer wool and makes a finer garment. Um, we don't just get cotton yarn, we get cotton that's been blended with linen and cashmere. And I mean, this is high-end stuff. It's beautiful to work with. Fibers that come from South America and Australia, fibers that are grown, produced, dyed, everything in the USA. And it does make it a bit of a trip around the world. So we have choices in where we get our fibers from. Um, and we're actually trying to be as careful as possible, you know, to do research to make sure that our fibers are from ethically sourced um, producers. Um, you know, Angora was especially hard. We took a while to find the right one to make sure we had, that it was coming from a certified ethical source. It matters to us. Um, you know, how the fiber is processed, how it's dyed, you know, trying to do as much as possible with organic fibers. The experience isn't just shopping. The experience starts with the project and the purchase of the yarn to go with the project. And once you start the project, people come back in, whether it's to sit for a couple of minutes or to come for our social. Sometimes they take a class that pertains to their project and we're with them through the whole project. I learned so much watching my mom. She was a constant creator. When mom taught me to knit, she taught me the stitches. And I remember I asked her to slow down and she looked at me, she said, I can't. So I watched and she told me, she said, don't worry about it. This is a piece of string. If you do anything wrong, you can rip it all out and start again. There's nothing like starting a project and finishing it. Um, even if it's a pair of socks, somebody asked me, how long does it take you to knit a pair of socks? And I said, well, it could take me a week, but it could also take me six months. I take them in the car with me. I knit with them on them when I have a chance. If I get a row done here or there, they eventually get finished and I have a pair of socks. It isn't a competition. It isn't a race. I just enjoy sitting doing it. Eventually, it'll get done. It provides a lot of fulfillment. It's just so much more than just making a garment or a scarf or a hat. It's making a gift. A lot of people put a lot of thought into what they're making, who they're giving it to. And um, so I just, it's just that whole process of creating, I think, that I love. We never come to work feeling like we're going to work. And I might go home tired, but I always go home happy. It's, it's a great experience. The other reward is when people walk in the door and they go, wow, then you know you it did something your, right. Yeah, hit your goal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the reward. Mm -hmm.